Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to pick the order of uh, the moving average part of Arima models using ACF and uh, PACF plots. So previously, I talked about how to use uh, autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function to pick up uh, the autoregressive part of uh, Arima models. To pick Q, we again need to look at the partial autocorrelation function and uh, the autocorrelation uh, function. In this case, uh, our partial autocorrelation function will decay exponentially. That is, we may see a partial autocorrelation function which will uh, drop towards zero very quickly. That is, the, the partial autocorrelation function will quickly decay to zero. So it can happen in this fashion or it can uh, move towards zero exponentially from negative to positive values. Nevertheless, it will uh, move towards uh, zero exponentially. Now it can also move towards zero with the negative correlation coefficients in this fashion. Nevertheless, again, uh, in all of these three cases, our partial R2 correlation graph is exponentially decaying. So if our partial R2 correlation function will decay exponentially and then we have uh, a significant spike in the ACF at uh, lag Q. In this case, uh, we have uh, just one significant uh, spike. So this is the only significant spike uh, that we have in the ACF. So if we have a situation like this, we will include only one lagged value of uh, the error. That is, we'll choose MA1 model. On the other hand, if we have uh, two statistically significant uh, correlation coefficients and uh, no significant spike after the two spikes, we will pick a uh, MA2 model. Similarly, in the case we have uh, three significant spikes and no statistically significant spike after the third spike, we will pick a uh, MA3 model. So again, in the case that uh, we'll be picking a moving average component using PACF and ACF, We'll look at uh, the partial R2 correlation function which will decay exponentially and then we'll have a statistically significant spike in the ACF at lag Q and uh, none beyond. So in the case that uh, we have only one statistically significant spike, we'll pick MA1 model. If we have two statistically significant spikes, we'll pick MA2 model. And if we have uh, three statistically significant spikes, we'll pick MA3 model and so on. So one thing uh, to notice here is that uh, picking uh, P and Q using ACF and PACF is an art and it only gives you a good starting point uh, to pick P and uh, Q. And we get the same thing using the Arto Arima function. Practically what we do is uh, any model that we'll pick uh, from uh, Arto Arima function or using the ACF and PACF, we experiment uh, with the different models and uh, look for different models in the neighborhood of our initial model that we'll choose uh, either with the Arto Arima function or with the ACF and the PACF and we compare these uh, models and uh, find the best uh, model among those models and this is pretty much that we do in uh, forecasting. We always uh, experiment with the several models and then we choose uh, the best model whichever gives us uh, the best result or whichever gives us the minimum uh, forecasting error. So in the next video, I'll show you the modeling procedure uh, that is specific to Arima models, but you can use that uh, modeling procedure to any forecasting project. And uh, then I'll show you an example of how to choose uh, an Arima model using the Arto Arima function and then build your own model using the steps uh, that I'll describe in the next video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.